Hey guys, it's Brooke. And uh, I was thinking about adding on to uh, what we worked on yesterday. We did E5 and A5 like this. Did a whole bunch of that. All right, all I'm saying today is if we add one more note to each chord, all you gotta do is just lay your finger flat, your index finger, and you're gonna hit three strings with the pick. That's E, B, E, and that's an E5 chord, a root, fifth, and another root. Take it one string over, and you got your A5. Three notes. A, E, A, that's a root, fifth, and a root. Those chords are in a lot of songs. Um, you can connect those two chords with a G note in the middle. That's my middle finger on the third fret, sixth string. That G note just connects those two chords. It's just something that's in a lot of songs. Um, you can kind of make riffs out of these uh, simple chords, like the E5, if I arpeggiate it like this. And the A5. So those are really satisfying chords. Um, playing in road bands, um, I used to play the same three sets every night for like many months. And it seemed like every song was either an E or an A. <laughs> and uh, it was very simple. And uh, people danced. It was a good time. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of guitar stuff is pretty easy. And uh, I think a lot of students miss out on these two really simple chords. Um, so if you'd like to just review those and crank up some distortion and just rock out, have some fun with those two chords, E5. And A5. I can send you some tabs that have those chords in it, in them, songs. If you'd like, let me know and I'll send you some PDFs of songs that feature simple power chords. All right. Thanks a lot and I uh, appreciate you stopping by. If you could subscribe, that does help. Thank you. See ya.